Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on my Artwork by Mary YouTube channel. Thanks in advance if you end up liking and subscribing. This video is to just give you a look at the scene that I was painting and also wanted to give you a look at my setup. Here I am trying to struggle with one hand opening the box, um, my painter box. It is a gorilla, gorilla painter box, I believe that's what it's called. And because I'm also recording with my right hand holding my phone, I couldn't really do a full setup, but I at least wanted to give you a peek. That's my tiny little Altoids tin, which has um, a small arrangement of paints and as well as my little bit larger um, paint set that I take outside. This is another view of the full setup opened up. My backpack is on the ground. Here's the little mini palette to the left and then another tiny palette and then my main palette. And just showing you the assortment of brushes. Those are Escoda brushes, which I absolutely love. They collapse and protect the nice sable hair and they have a nice gold case. Anyway, this is a friend's backyard in Falmouth down at the Cape and I'm doing a painting of her backyard while Marissa is sanding her deck. You'll be able to hear the sanding sounds later. Anyway, this is me sketching with a 2B pencil. It's a mechanical pencil and I use that so I don't have to do any sharpening while I'm on the road. And right now I'm just kind of sketching the main focal point of the painting, which is a little shed in her backyard. I just thought it was kind of cute how it was surrounded by all the greenery. I am not a big fan of painting with green paint and I'm trying to get over my phobia of that by just forcing myself to do a lot of greenery until I get over it. Anyway, just wanted to give you a peek at what the sketch looks like and then a quick cutaway to the scene again. And then I'll show you the finished sketch. It's not extremely detailed. It's just, you know, a basic layout. And then the rough washing in of the first pass, the first washes, which always look really messy. And you always wonder if anything's going to come out of it. I also went real dark with this painting a little bit too soon. Here's another cutaway to my tools. I love to see other people's paints, so I assume other people like to look at what I'm doing. Anyway, I hope somebody's watching out there anyways, but you can see I start getting really dark. I'm actually using gouache, not watercolor. I do have some watercolors in my paints, but the gouache, the great advantage of using gouache is that you can go really dark and then bring it back up into light again. And I like working either forwards or backwards, dark to light, light to dark. And you really can't do that with a set of watercolors. You can see it's getting quite dark now. And then at some point I realized that and realized that I was gonna have to start putting in some grays into the uh, big tree stump that's closest to the viewer that is holding a um, hammock. As you will see in a minute when I zoom in, there we go. And you can see I've really lightened up the trees, tried to get a sense of the light on the grass and I also love to see when other people take their um, tape off of their paintings so you can get a feel for the finished look of the piece. So here I am pulling the tape and uh, struggling with it a little bit but it does create a really nice border. I ended up signing um, the painting after I had already pulled the tape off. I'm not sure if I got a, a shot of that, but I ended up signing it in the lower right hand corner. And here I am throwing the last few pieces of tape off. Perhaps this isn't that interesting. I don't know. It felt good to do it because I had been staring at that messy edge for a long time. Sorry about my phone going off in the background. I wanted to do this voiceover recording in one shot. Anyway, this is the final painting. I thought it'd be neat if I zoomed in a little bit so you could take a peek at some of the details the real washy trees in the background and then the areas of the trees that really catch the light 
and then on down to the details in my friend's yard with her cute little ornaments hanging around and the little buoys on the shed. Also a, a kind of a naked wood door that she's got there on the front of the shed, which I kind of liked. And then back up into the trees in that upper left-hand corner, very bright. And then probably the second focal point is the glare of the sun off of those two cute little blue chairs and her fun little pillows sitting in them. So this is the final piece and thank you very much for watching. Okay, I lied. At the last minute I decided to add her little dogs in the backyard and you'll see them there. That's Bubba and Frankie. Thanks for watching.